Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing another install, pretty quick one. Uh, I'm gonna be installing these OLM um, exhaust, carbon fiber exhaust finishers, which are gonna be going uh, around this area. Uh, so basically it's the same concept as the uh, gurney flap up here. Um, you know, there's just some double-sided tape on the back here and uh, you basically wanna stick it on. There's also these this uh, primer adhesion promoter uh, so basically it's just like a glue i'm going to put some uh, on the back of here uh, take off the tape and stick it on uh, so this kind of just adds some reassurance to make sure it doesn't fall off so i'm going to do that i really don't know how strong this stuff is k520 primer adhesion promoter i've never worked with it, with it before but reading the directions it just basically says um just basically put it on the car and uh anywhere from three to ten minutes it kind of it kind of dries so um so yeah, so I'm gonna get cleaning uh, on the on the area right here, just to make sure there's no dirt or grime or anything, so I get good good promotion of the um, of the tape and the uh, adhesion or the uh, the glue, whatever it's called. Um, so because uh, I don't want those falling off as I'm driving. So let me get started on that, and um, we'll get we'll get going. Okay, so I'm gonna take some uh, Adam's detail spray. Don't have much left, but uh, it'll do and just kind of clean up the area and get over here. And you basically just want to scrub the area where the actual tape is going to go. I'm going to get in the cracks and everything because you don't want to put uh, double-sided tape on dirt because it's not going to stick well. So you want to make sure it's pretty clean. My exhaust is pretty, the clearance, uh, it's pretty tight, so it doesn't really wrap around underneath too much, so it should be okay, um, but we'll find out. But yeah, so you just want to clean it up. After that, I'm going to use some uh, Gion Prep, which gets rid of any oils or anything that may be on. Just going to wipe that off. Clean it as best as I can. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, alcohol alcohol pad. Whoops! Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh well, it's plastic. Um, just kind of rub. In the area, get in the crack and everything. And like I said in my other, with the uh, gurney flap install, you wanna make sure it is dry before you put it on. Uh, you don't wanna have it wet because it won't give a good, good connection. So it's pretty clean. Make sure you get all the areas. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure exactly uh, where, what part it completely covers, so I'm just cleaning everything just to be sure, certain, and plus, might as well. You're cleaning it, so I might as well just get everything. All right, so now that I did that, I'm gonna make sure it's dry. The car's really dirty, I gotta clean it this weekend. <clears throat> make sure there's no added grime or sand or anything there and now I'm gonna get the uh, promoter that they, it came with the with the piece um, well first I'm gonna take off the 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 cover of the tape then put the promoter on then I'm gonna stick it on so let me get that get set up and um, and then we'll get it on the car okay so I had act kind of quick um, that adhesion promoter is basically it looks like water <laughs> I thought it was more of like a glue um, that it would kind of just sit in spot, but as soon as I kind of dumped it out, it just started leaking all over the area. So, and I don't, I really don't know exactly how long, uh, you know, it starts to kind of get tacky or whatever. I waited a little bit just to kind of, um, you know, make sure it got all in the, in the entire, uh, area inside. Um, uh, I'm also holding it just to make sure it's adhering correctly, but you do have a little bit of time. I guess you kind of wait. I waited till it got a little tacky, which is good. 
um, but that's really, really on there. Uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do is kind of hold it there for a little bit and make sure it's in, in its place, but it really looks like it's on there and it's not going anywhere. So the good part is, if anybody wants to try to remove this, they're not gonna be able to. So, also if I ever wanna sell this, I don't think it's possible, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it off the car. But um, as you can see, it's a pretty cool um, little addition. I mean, there's a little gap here, which is okay, because you're not really looking at that. I'm kind of sitting on the ground here. Um, but it definitely kind of adds a little touch to the rear end here. It, Instead of just being all black, it has a little bit of character, um, but it looks pretty sweet. And I like that it follows the lines of the OEM uh, cutout as opposed to some other aftermarket ones where it's more round. Um, and I'm not crazy about that. And the nice part is it doesn't go too far under here, so it doesn't touch the exhaust, which I was a little worried about because I wouldn't want to have, oops, sorry. Um, I wouldn't want to have uh, burned carbon fiber, <laughs> but... Yeah, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and um, and then I'll kind of show you guys the uh, finished product. There you go, it's done. Very uh, minuscule, something that most people won't even notice, um, but it's my car, I'll notice it. It's the little touches that kind of make me uh, make me happy. Um, this one went on just as smooth as the other one and it's really, really on there. I mean, honestly, I don't think I'll ever be able to take them off, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, although they were pretty pricey, so I'll see when the time comes if I ever do want to sell these. I doubt I will, but, um, I'm not really worried about that right now. They're, they're on there really, really well. They look, the lighting's not that great, sorry. I'm not in the best, uh, filming environment currently. I have the car backed in and, uh, whatever, but that's all I got for now. But yeah, uh, I'm really happy with the fitment here. It looks really cool. Um, it ties in with the, uh car is super dirty sorry about that uh the the uh, trunk trunk trim there whatever you want to call it as well as the gurney flap that i did just install tonight as well um so it's kind of you know there's there's a carp there's carbon here carbon there carbon there and once i get that replaced uh there'll be carbon there as well um and for anybody else that doesn't know i have carbon on the mirrors as well on the uh, steering wheel here and obviously the interior which is stock um you know and the dash or the uh, center console there which is nothing to write home about but that's pretty much it you know i'm not trying to go too crazy with the carbon fiber oh and i also have the license plate frame which is whatever um not trying to go too crazy i know there's some companies out there that are basically making every single part carbon fiber for this car which is cool to see people making new stuff but some of it's getting a little ridiculous. Um, uh, I'm not that type of person. I love carbon fiber, but uh, I, you know, I don't want to make my entire car carbon fiber. Um, you know, first of all, it's expensive, and that's just not my style. I like just doing small touches like this, um, and I'm really happy with the overall um, overall look of, and fitment of this stuff. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about uh, the install, where I got it. You know the deal, just ask uh, in, the, in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to kind of go over um, the install and the piece for you and then give you a link if you need it. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm really happy with, with how it's going. Uh, I just need the roof spoiler there and everything should be good. So uh, be sure to like this video. If you're a newcomer, uh, make sure you subscribe. Um, you know, it's really helping out. It's nice to see the channel growing each week and each video that I put out. And you guys seem to be enjoying the content and asking some good questions. Uh, so I'm really, really happy about that. I know that I say that every video, but I'm, you know, I'm doing this for fun and I'm really enjoying it. And just kind of seeing the feedback I'm getting on the car and the mods that I'm doing. Um, it's really nice to get that, that positivity uh, or the positive feedback. Uh, it just kind of keeps me motivated in case you want to keep going and, and doing stuff to this car. Because you guys seem to be enjoying it as much as I'm doing it myself. So, um, and also a quick note. I know this is at the end of the video, but if anybody, uh, the, the kind of community that I'm kind of trying to build here, uh, I want to build a positive community. Uh, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not trying to make a big YouTube channel. Um, you know, I'm not going to do vlogging or anything like that. At least I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm simply just going to do install videos in the garage and simple stuff that I've been doing like that. Just 
kind of letting you in on my car ownership with the STI and anything that I get uh, down the road. But I'm trying to create a positive uh, community. I don't want people coming in and um, telling me why my car sucks or why their car is better or why they chose a certain car over this one. You know, that's great, I, but I, you know, that really has no relevance to basically any of the videos that I'm putting out. Um, this is just my ownership of this car and what I, and how I'm experiencing it and why this car is perfect for me at this point. I love all cars, I, I can appreciate everything, um, but you know, there's really no need to come in and start posting some, uh, some random, random, uh, you know, negative comments uh, in the, uh, uh, on the comment section in the videos and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty on, I pretty, stay out pretty on top of the comments. So if you post something stupid, it's either A, gonna be deleted or I'm just gonna block you because um, I really don't want that kind of, that kind of environment in my, in the community that I'm, I'm kind of developing here on the channel. So uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, you know, go watch another video. I really don't care. I'm not here for views or, or the money, obviously. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, I encourage anybody to ask questions and uh, I do like the, the conversation and stuff. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask. I, I, I'm a nice person. I'm not, I'm not going to be mean or anything. So, um, but yeah, that was just my quick little spiel there. Uh, I noticed the more videos I'm putting out and, you know, some of them are gaining a little bit more traction than the others. Uh, so they're kind of reaching out to other people and, um, or I should say more people. So it's, you know, the negative comments and the, and the silly um, opinions and, and that kind of stuff of why this car sucks and why I shouldn't have um, done certain things. Uh, it's kind of more prevalent just because, you know, it's reaching more people. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there just so you guys understand my goal here of this channel. And, um, you know, I think you guys, guys kind of got the drift. Most of the people on here are, are interested in the car and, and I guess my my ownership or my life or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll be sure to check you guys in the next video. Uh, I do have one going up pretty soon about uh, the five reasons why uh, I dislike this car. And I go through the car and give you uh, the five different uh, things that I found that I'm not crazy about uh, on this car and kind of go over why they are. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but that's it for tonight. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.